So you're a young geotechnical professional in your field. And of course, you're looking to find more ways to grow. So what are you supposed to do? You're already integrated into some of the design processes or maybe even some of the management processes within your firm, but you're looking to see if you can venture into more and learn truly about what it is that your role actually entails. Well, in today's engineering management lesson, we have a special guest for you all, Pedro Molcara, a geotechnical lead for Canadian buildings and infrastructure, mining and environmental services with Jacobs. So Pedro has some key advice for young engineers on how to truly get their hands dirty and be involved in their early stages, which will help them along their journey to growth. Pedro, what advice do you have for our listeners today? What I can share with young geological engineers, young geotechnical engineers who are at the very early stage of their career is that do not be a desk geological engineer. That's uh, one important lesson that I learned from one of my professors at university, first day at university, he said, uh, do not be a desk geologist. And what that means is your first four years, three years, five years of career are super important and you should be spending that out in the field um, by learning site investigation and site characterization. Invest on that and it will pay you back for the entire career. I hope that you all have enjoyed today's engineering management lesson with Pedro Mokara. And in my opinion, it's absolutely critical for young engineers to get comfortable with getting their hands dirty, getting out into the field and seeing all aspects of their projects from conceptualization to completion. Please consider smashing that like button and subscribing to our channel below. We produce videos weekly for our viewers to learn, connect and become better managers and leaders in their engineering professions. I'll see you all next video.